I am back in Vancouver, obviously, goodbye bikini, hello winter, but it's actually not that cold and there's no snow. I'm really excited because I'm just meeting my mom and we are going to go to my first appointment to get my suit made for my competition. So I have my food packed for the day. I also have my competition shoes I just bought, those awesome clear stilettos that they wear. I got an ankle strap on mine just to be safe. I don't wear heels very often. This is, that's typically what I wear, flats. So it should be interesting. I need to learn to walk in those. I'm going to be going to a posing class tomorrow and I have to be somewhat in a bathing suit, but I'm gonna wear shorts because honestly, I do not feel like being in high heels in a bikini at the moment. So I'm gonna go do that, see my coach and get the word on what I need to do to kick my competition contest prep into full gear again. So just finished meeting with my coach and completing my second ever posing class in which I've realized I'm super duper uncomfortable in high heels, especially like the platform stilettos that I'm gonna be wearing, which I finally have. Um, I just teeter around. My legs were shaking pretty much most of the class. Just so nervous. I'm getting corrected by the coach and everyone is very supportive and it's a very relaxed environment but I'm just like such a perfectionist and struggle when I don't get things right away and this is definitely something I'm struggling with and it's a lot of pressure because no matter how hard I work in the gym, if by the competition day I don't have my posing on point, um, it's all for nothing because you just look really awkward and stiff and you won't score well and people think that the posing isn't that hard or you might think the posing is not that hard. I didn't realize how incredibly difficult it really is and so it's something I got to really start practicing now that I'm back from my honeymoon and there's no more excuses, you know. I had Christmas, I had New Year's <laughs> and now it is game on. Game on. It's game on. First day back to work has been completed and one of my coworkers while I was away knitted this scarf. So cute! She made it for me. She actually knitted scarves for everyone in our department, which I mean she's an angel. So sweet. So that was a really nice thing to come back to the office and have a little present. I'm on my way to do my new quad workout because my coach has decided to up the intensity. So basically, my quads are going to burn, potentially explode after this workout, and I'm excited about it.
it's late and I haven't filmed at all today really because Skylar and I took a road trip to Chilliwack, which is where I grew up, to participate in a rally um, for SOGI, which is a really important program for our LGBTQ children and all children and teachers. It's about educating teachers and children about sexual orientation and gender identity. Right now I'm just waiting in our garage for Skylar to park the car because we just got home. In relation to fitness, I went to the gym yesterday, did my new leg workout, can barely walk. In relation to social justice, I feel like we made an impact tonight. I'm really proud of my friends and my family that came out and of all the people in Chilliwack, all the families and the children and everyone that was there in support of, you know, having a program implemented in our education system that protects children against discrimination um, and like basically human, basic human rights that every child deserves, especially in school. That's where they spend a lot of their time and a lot of their lives. It's part of what will shape our youth and why wouldn't we want our youth to have the tools and resources, education, you know, to respect and have compassion for each other. That's gonna go a lot further than knowing algebra. So I think it was really successful and I'm really glad that we went. Um, so again, it's the SOGI program, Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity. It's for teachers and kids and we need to have it in our school districts. So now it's even later and I kind of realized that I need to make all my food for tomorrow, which is not convenient at all because it's late. So now I am about to cook all my meals for tomorrow. So apparently I'm a little more prepared than I thought I was, so thank you past me for being a little more on it than present me is. And being a little bit creative, I'm having a couple egg whites with my green beans and rice. And I also have shrimp, so I didn't actually have to cook much other than my egg whites. So I'm very happy that I can just make this work and I'm almost ready to go to bed. Tired, but feeling very grateful. So good night. Just on my way to the gym after another day in the office. And I have to say, my quadriceps are sore. Like very sore. Like, I've been hobbling around all day today. The bad thing was I actually couldn't even do my cardio today because I barely can walk on a flat surface, let alone walk on a stair climber for any amount of time. So, I have to fit that in somewhere else this week. But anyways, so yeah, we're off to go do shoulders, which is like my absolute favorite. So, it's a good day.
day, another dollar, another five million hours cooking food. Also, I still can't walk. My quadriceps are destroyed. I've never been this sore in my entire life. I cannot get up or get down. I, Skylar, last night when we were in bed, accidentally brushed the top of my quad and like rested their hand on it. And I like woke up from a deep sleep and was like, ah, oh, that's how sore they are. So good, I guess. Just finished meeting with my coach and the meeting went really well. He says that I am right on schedule. Schmedual. And now we're at the store because if I'm not at work or the gym, or in the kitchen washing dishes or cooking food, I'm at the grocery store <laughs> buying food. And you might think, oh, that's not so bad being at the grocery store. But sadly, my grocery list is only like four or five items long. I've been eating the same thing for the past six weeks, going on seven weeks. So as Skylar peruses the potatoes, I just have to wait and get my like five sad items that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to show you what I got at the grocery store because we already paid for it. But it basically consists of a protein, green bean, and some rice. Occasionally we add some spinach into that mix, white fish, and I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm eating this. And then I'm going to the gym because I have to. Yeah. Love you, Justin. You're our boy. Because people aren't perfect. And people aren't perfect. By not being perfect. You ain't perfect. You sometimes can disappoint people. God, it's like he's, he's perfect and he, he never disappoints. I don't know about that. So I just get my recognition from him. Get recognition get from you. Recognition. Get your own recognition. See, I'm bully on a mission. For recognition for myself. <laughs> News flash, it's raining. Should have brought an umbrella. Didn't do it. Right. Now I'm walking to the gym. Do 45 minutes of cardio. My last session of the week. This is the longest amount of straight cardio I've had to do, which is 45 minutes. And I don't like it, guys. But I'm going to do it because this is the process. And these are to reach specific goals. But I don't like it. Anyways, just thought I'd let you all know that I don't like it. That's all. The other thing I just wanted to touch on is that I made a post earlier today on my Instagram about if you want to be a champion, you got to train like a champion. And actually, um, someone that I follow that's a figure competitor named Shiva wanted to get her pro card um, and compete at the pro level as a figure competitor. And she said she's off to do cardio one night at like midnight or something. And she just said, like, if she wants to be a pro, she's got to train like a pro. And that's kind of what's getting me through times like this. I think that's the difference between, you know, being ordinary and extraordinary. You got to put in the extra work. You got to do the things that not necessarily you always want to do so you can get the results that you want to have. All those people out there that are doing amazing things with their lives, they're no different than you and I, other than they're willing to put in the work, the time, the energy to prioritize their passion. It's something we can all do. We can all find time. We can all do the things we don't really want to do because we see the bigger picture. Get out there and do what you need to do to get what you want and what you deserve. The sweat though. Got forearm sweat. You know it's the real deal when your forearms are sweating. Well, it's Friday. 
the workout I just did at the gym a while ago now was biceps and back and it was probably the hardest workout I've done so far. Just haven't had a lot of energy today. Didn't have a lot of energy doing the cardio. And now I'm laying on the couch, not feeling the best. I still have to eat two more meals. And I can't say I necessarily am craving ground turkey and green beans right now. But that's what's on the menu. Could really go for a soup and some crackers. That's what I'm feeling like, but ground turkey it is. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog because tomorrow is the beginning of 10 weeks out. I think, yeah. And my sister's coming to visit me tomorrow and she's spending the night, so that's going to be fun. So I'm just taking it easy tonight. Good night. I want to eat stuff in there.